201 in Harlem. I'm going to use to prove that you can uh, use new legislation and change the conditions that our people face in the South. So instead of legislation, in my opinion, it takes education. The, the whites have to be re-educated uh, so that the racism that they have in their hearts can be eliminated and, the, and our people have to be re-educated uh, so that we will know how to do something for ourselves instead of waiting for others to do it for us all the time. Well, how will that re-education be brought about? Uh, well, just as uh, uh, in the in World War II, this country could use its uh, news media to propagandize and make out, make the whole American public uh, love the love the Germans and the Japanese, and rather love the Russians and the Chinese, and hate the Germans and the Japanese. And then after the war, they changed it and made the American public love the uh, the Germans and love the Japanese, hate the Russians and hate the Chinese which shows that they can make the American public love whom they will and hate whom they will. And that same process can be used to re-educate the American public and show white people how to love black people and show black people how to do something to stand on our own feet and solve our own problems. The black man doesn't have to be taught to love the white man. The white man has to be taught to love the black man. Or at least, do you think the Civil Rights Bill, uh, when it's passed, uh, is a sign of better times for Negroes in this country? No. Uh, as I said before, the legislation won't solve our problems. New York City has all of the laws. It has FEPC. And still there's job discrimination in this city. Uh, laws doesn't solve, the, the law, that type of law doesn't solve the problem. Uh, and it's the same with education. It actually, it's the same, it's the same with the segregated educational system. Uh, it's, it, it exists here the same as it exists in the South. Now, the law here is on the side of an integrated school system, but you still don't have an integrated school system. What do you think of Senator Goldwater's stand on the civil rights bill? Well, he's probably being more honest than uh, the other politicians are, he's, even though uh, his stand is the wrong stand, and, and it's uh, an unjust stand. Still, he's being more honest than the other white politicians are. I don't think that uh, in, in his heart, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson's stand is any different from Goldwater's stand. Lyndon B. Johnson is taking a stand that is for political expediency. And it's the same with all of the so-called liberal elements. It's political expediency, politics. As the winter of...